There might be a myriad of reasons as in to why you might want to copy over a structure from one world to another world, but I'm not here to ask questions. I'm here to show you how to do that. So first you're going to want to go into creative mode. You'll do slash GM and then space two in your chat box. Hit enter, you'll get set to creative mode. Then you're going to want to open up the creative inventory, search for a magic wand, grab that. And then hit the tilde key and this fancy menu will appear. This is the in-game world edit menus. Also the tilde key if you don't know where that is. It's the one that should be above the tab key and left to your number one key. You're going to want to go over to the sidebar here and select the select tool. And then with your magic wand selected, you're going to left click one corner of what you're going to have be your area selection. So I left click here. And then I'm going to right click on the other corner that I want. So about here. And now we have a selection on the ground here. We can then make the selection grow taller by using the buttons up here. So I'm going to hit the U plus button and I'll start growing it taller. We'll do about to here. And let's say you decide after you made the selection box that, oh, I actually want to cut out this well per se. So you just figure out which direction this one. I, I would just finagle this. So I think for me, it would be the W plus button for some reason. And I'll start shrinking in this direction. And then I can just cut out the well there. Once you're happy with your selection, then you're going to go into your chat box again. And we're going to do slash W E and then export dash client and then space. And then this is going to be the name of the schematic file. So I'm just going to call it house and then you hit enter. And then it's going to ask you saying that it wants to download the house.json file. You just hit accept. And now your schematic file will be saved into vintage stories data folders. There will be a world edit folder within the data folder. That's where it's stored. And if you don't want to type out that wordy command, you can instead do slash W E and then E X P C and then the file name. So we'll say house two and that will do the exact same thing. Now to undo your selection here, you can just do clear and then the selection will go away. Now that we have our structure exported as a schematic file, let's go to a different world. So I was just in my creative building world where I copied the structure from. And now I'm going to head over to this world that I've spent only eight minutes in. All right, we're in the other world. Just go into creative mode if you aren't already and search for the magic wand like before. Then you want to find a spot where you want to place your selection. All right, so I've decided on this spot right here. We're going to go over to the toolbar and then click on import. And then we're going to want to go to the top here where it says files. Click on that and select the schematic file that you want to import. So I'm choosing house and then it's put a ghost image preview right next to me. We can move the preview by using our magic wand and left clicking in the area where we want it. It's going to place it based off the center of where we click and you can just keep clicking to find a better, more suitable spot. I like that spot. And if it wasn't oriented how you like it, you can mess around with location and some other movements up here. I can rotate it 90 degrees in this direction or in this other direction. And if you want to mess around, you can change to replace mode. By default, it's, it's by replaceable value, which I honestly don't know what that means, but it seems to work just fine. You can do it replaces all, which I'm assuming will replace all blocks. You can do replace all, but don't replace the air or replace only air. I would say probably just leave it at the default because that seems to work fine. And then you can either click this place button or you can right click on the ground. But when you right click, it'll kind of move it again. So I'll right click and you see it, it kind of moved it again. So let's go to the undo button and let's replace it where I kind of want it like there. And instead, let's use this place button here. And there you go. It placed it how I like it. Now it looks a little wonky because the preview is still actually there. So to get rid of the preview, we just unselect import so we can go to disable. And there we go. Our structure and building is imported. It's all intact. Everything's working. Everything inside is here. There wasn't much to begin with in here, so don't worry. Obviously, you might have issues like this where it's like harsh borders and stuff. Just smooth it out manually yourself. 
Like I can just build this out like this. But it might be a little annoying to fill this manually. So there's another little handy tip. If you go and look at the toolbar again on the left, go and select the flood fill tool. And then if you don't already have the block you want to fill this with, you can just middle click. So I'm going to middle click this grass block and it gives me the grass block. And then while I have the flood fill tool selected, I'm going to right click in the space and it's going to fill it up for me. Sometimes it might not always work, but like here, uh, the space is not an enclosed area. So we can unselect the flood tool again by going to disable tool and then we can manually just create a border here. And then we go back and select the flood tool, right click again and voila. Another cool thing the flood tool can do is that you can left click instead and it'll like do the inverse of filling it. It'll kind of like delete that space. So, uh, but, but there are limits to it, of course. And then you can just go back to rounding it out. Don't need to do anything too special. It doesn't require that much terraforming skills. Most of anything should look fine. And if you want to blend it in a bit more, you can spam a bunch of the short grass everywhere. Also, just so you're aware, all the world edit tools on the toolbar here have equivalent commands you can put in to do the same thing. But sadly, there are still a lot of world edit features that can only be done through the commands and don't have any nice button yet in the UI. So if you ever plan on messing around with world edit some more, I actually don't recommend going to the wiki looking up the commands because the their commands might be a little outdated sometimes. So instead, I would go into your chat box and type slash help and then we, which is for world edit. And then I'll just give you every single world edit command and a very short explanation as into what it does. And that's all I have to show you. Thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful. Hopefully I'll see you in a future video. Bye.